hello um today is saturday um my days are all messed up i had my appointment at the hospital yesterday got my blood work pre-admin stuff done my veins are terrible but i only got two pokes still not fun getting poked twice um i have a really big blue bruise in the crook of my arm from the first one that failed my mom came down and went with me to the hospital And then today we got out, picked up my liquid diet prep stuff, which I'll show you here in a minute, some of that stuff. And then we had torchies for lunch. I'll insert a clip of lunch. And yeah, now we're um, back at my apartment and um, I'll show you liquid diet prep for in a couple of days. Okay, here is my goods. <laughs> um, so first things first, I got some popsicles. I got the Paw Patrol ones because <laughs> the other brand had grape flavored and I'm gonna tell you all right now, I hate grape flavored. So um, this one had strawberries, raspberry, and blueberry flavored popsicles. So I want one of these. Um, also got these like polar freezes. Um, I'm going to put some of these in the freezer as well. I got some, instead of buying like where I'll make my own Kool-Aid, I just went ahead and bought the already made uh, Kool-Aid. Got the tropical punch flavor. Um, bought some apple juices and some V8 juice. And then two kinds of Jello that I will prep um, the night before. And um, the liquid diet is going to be on Wednesday, so I'll get what I need prepped by Tuesday. And then I had ahead of time, I had some chicken bouillon cubes. So I've already had these in my pantry as well as I bought these off of Amazon. Um, they are the Lano Life brand of uh, bone broth. And they do chicken and beef flavored. It's a little bit more expensive, of course, to get it in the like pod K-cup size, um, but it's worth it to just put it in my Keurig. Um, and it's nice, the chicken ones are eight grams of protein. Um, the beef ones are 10 grams, but I just bought the chicken ones and these are really good. I, when I had flare ups back in the day, I tried different bone broths and I'll be honest, they don't taste great guys, <laughs> the ones in the store, but these are really, really good. So, um, got that. So this is kind of liquid diet stuff, although I can also have, um, or this is stuff that I bought it that I didn't have. I can also have tea, soda, coffee. So I have all of those already in my fridge. It was just this kind of stuff was stuff that I had to buy ahead of time. Also something I needed to buy was good old magnesium citrate. Went to Walgreens, got this. Um, they had a couple of different flavors. They had lemon, grape, or cherry. I went lemon, I've had lemon before, and like I said guys, I don't like grape, and sometimes the cherry flavored stuff tastes like medicine, so we went lemon. I need to double check. I think I would be drinking this whole thing, but I need to double check on my instructions. She told me how much, I think it's like 150 cc's, and she said if I ended up getting like a big bottle, I would only drink half of it, so I just need to, do the math to make sure either I need to drink this whole thing or just half of this. But I will be drinking this Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Good times, y'all. Good times. And, uh, you know, in case you thought I was serious about good times. I'm not. It's not fun. You go to the bathroom a lot. The plus is that it's all coming out into my bag, so I won't be necessarily sitting on the toilet all night long. Um, but I will be emptying my bag a lot. So anyways, I'm going to put this stuff away. I still have several days before I'm going to be doing a liquid diet. I'm trying to enjoy food as much as possible before then. I will film liquid diet day and let you know kind of what, what goes down. Something that I was given at my hospital appointment yesterday from the nurse this hcg cleanser 
it's just an antiseptic skin cleanser that they want you to use before you have surgery. The nurse told me I will use this the night before, so I will use this Wednesday night. You apply it, scrub the areas, rinse it off. You just avoid your face, and then I will do it again the morning that I have surgery. So I'll do it Thursday morning before we leave to head to the hospital as well. Um, so yeah, just something additional that I have to do for my surgery prep. Good morning. It's really early. Today is Wednesday. <laughs> it is liquid diet day. Yay. And then surgery tomorrow. So I'm going to show you kind of what I eat today on a liquid diet. First up, coffee. I changed my bag for the last time. I just watered my plants. I think my coffee's cooled enough now that I can drink it. So, gonna enjoy my first liquid of the day, <laughs> some nice coffee. So I forgot to make my Jello last night, but that's okay because you can do the speed set method. So I'm gonna do that because my mom and I are gonna run a couple of errands that I need to do before surgery. And by the time we get back, it'll hopefully be ready for me. Jello. I did get a Dr. Pepper with vanilla from Sonic, so I've been drinking on that, but I'm getting really hungry. So I'm gonna make one of my chicken bone broths. Um, this Lano Life brand is really good. I discovered it about three years ago before I had my very first surgery and I was really sick, and it tastes really good. Um, there's a lot of different brands of bone broth, but um, a lot of them that I tried just weren't really tasty so this is a really good brand the chicken flavor is eight grams of protein and then they also do a beef flavor which is 10 grams of protein so I'm gonna make some lunch all right I haven't really given a lot of updates because it's kind of boring doing a liquid diet um, I had some popsicles some of the little ice push pop things some more bone broth, and then now I'm drinking some tea. I think I had some Kool-Aid. Just been trying to like have a bunch of liquids. So yeah, it's not too exciting. Just trying to keep full on these liquids. My surgery might have gotten pushed. I'll get the official call from the hospital in a couple of hours. And that way I'll know what time I'm supposed to get there. Originally my appointment was going to be, or my surgery was going to be really early in the morning. And then when I went last week for my blood work and stuff, um, they had told me I didn't need to get to the hospital till 730. But then I just got a update that my surgery is not supposed to be till later morning. So I called the hospital and then the nurse said that 
they'll call around five to confirm my arrival time since things could still change um, during office hours. So we'll see what time I need to be there um, and all of that. I just don't want to get, I just hate like late surgeries when you can't have anything to eat or drink after midnight. So that's not going to be fun. So I'm a little sad about that. I just, I just want to get it over with. <laughs> And I know that I'm going to be really dehydrated tomorrow since I won't be able to have anything after midnight. So yeah. But anyways, that's the update. I might not have anything else for y'all today since my plan is to edit this video before tomorrow's surgery. So if anything exciting happens, which it probably won't, <laughs> I will let y'all know, but other than that, I'm going to be keeping drinking the same kind of liquids that I just mentioned or that you've already seen. So yeah. Okay, so I'm filming just one more time and then I'm going to work on editing this video, but it's 7 p.m. and it is time to drink the magnesium citrate. Hmm. Lemon flavored. Thankfully, I only have to drink half of the bottle. I did the math and <laughs> 10 ounces is 300 cc's. I only need to take 150 cc's, which is five ounces. So here we go. Once I drink this, I can still have liquids, um, but I have to cut off at midnight. I did get the call from the nurse and unfortunately my surgery got bumped to 1130 tomorrow morning. So we'll get to the hospital at 10. Fortunately, still nothing after midnight, so I'll probably be really dehydrated, which is never fun when they have to find a vein. But hopefully everything goes smoothly. Like I said, I'm going to end the video here, and I will, if I feel like it, <laughs> I will try to film some in the hospital, and then I will try to do weekly updates with my pouch, and that way you can kind of see how things are, and learn with me while I'm learning about my pouch. So until then, I hope y'all are safe and you're well, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>